a lot of students would tell me they were involved in research and they put it on their CV and it looked good for med school, but they, they toiled away in a lab and they didn't really like it. And I would always say to people, and it's funny, I had this conversation with someone yesterday at a, at a Christmas party that I think research is exciting once you find the area you want to be in. There's opportunities lying everywhere and the journal sort of raised people's attention to that and they take it one step further. So not only did they see something interesting clinically, but now they're gonna t they tell me about it and they say, hey, I, I saw this really interesting thing, I wanna write it up now. And so now not only do they benefit from that learning experience of this really unique pathology, but now the readers get to benefit from it too. And also just excites them about the idea of being involved in publishing. It's not this foreign concept, this really complicated, thing that's very academic and cerebral but something that's very accessible and I think that's important because publishing is a means of communicating in our profession and we should really feel at ease with that because we should be able to engage in that conversation and be aware of it. Students interact with publishing, the entire sort of phenomenon of publishing, whether it be looking at new areas to write about, the process of writing, editing, reviewing, um, and things like open access. I think it's something we don't talk about very often, but it's very present in the way that we function as professionals because providing evidence-based practice is very important. So some students knew about publishing, but they were it's a foreign concept to them. And I think having the journal at UBC set up from the student perspective really opened their eyes to the possibilities that they could publish and be a first author, that they would take their first steps in writing an article, that their work was being valued impressed with what people come up with because being a medical student I know how busy everyone is and you read these articles and you're just blown away with the detail and the thought that goes into them. Being able to say that your colleague wrote that and you read the article and you, if that name wasn't attached you'd think wow this could be in some other major journal but it was written by one of my classmates and so it's just an opportunity to really give gratitude to the work that people are doing. I've never really had an online presence in a professional sense before I started with the journal and it became a very big thing. People would say, how, how are you going to promote this? How are you going to promote yourself? How, how can we look things up? And so we, we had a, a website professionally designed for us that showcases the work but also has a page about the staff and their backgrounds and I think that's been really helpful because when people ask me about this project that I've spent so much time on and been so passionate about, I can just say, well, go to ubcmj.com and all of a sudden it's there for them.